Hi, this is Sandy Joe and or Monkey Mimi, and um, I was asked the question from the last video that I just made in lesson number one about how to do the outline and the different colors. Um, now I was asked if we have different colors in our image, how do I take and cut those different images? Is the software going to know what to do? And um, the first thing that we always have to do when we when we have an image, when we bring it back in, if we've exported it or um, we just bring it back into our software here, um, come into it, select it, go up to your your shape window, and make sure that it is broke. You, you've uh, marked the break all or break group area. Either one of those two will break apart all the little circles, and it will not be grouped. Um, so go ahead and do that and then before you actually cut come all the way down to path cleaning and erase duplicate paths you don't want to see any duplicate paths at all um, on your thing and I didn't have any duplicate paths so that's ready to go then we can go up to our our little cutter image up in the top of the toolbar um, this little pin looking thing it's actually our little cutting blade and our, our blade holder here so go ahead and you click on that and when you click on that um, you will see it turns to a, a wire frame or an outline and I've got two colors that I'm actually going to cut the white color is my white um, in between all of my letters but I really don't need to cut that because I'm just going to be cutting the pink and the black so you go ahead and say if you're doing the horse and the outlines you'll pick the black and when you pick the black the pink will all disappear and then um, make sure and put two in for two rotations so you can do two passes on your, your cutting and once you do that then you just go ahead and you click start and it will start cutting for you and if I wanted to back it up here and show you the pink if I just was going to cut the cowgirl forever then the pink would show up there and um, you know then I'm back to the black if it's back to the black so I'm gonna go ahead and return that so that's how it separates it for you so pick the color of what you want to cut and then when you're done move your your uh, blade holder and move your your vinyl over or not your vinyl but your template material like you normally would and get it to start at the right starting point and you'll be good to go and it will cut two separate templates for you so you can go ahead and layer